Hey, welcome back to building your own pattern library for the web. In this lesson, you'll learn what a pattern library is all about and also see a few examples. Now, a pattern library is basically a collection of user interface design elements or patterns as they're referred to. A pattern is a solution to a common problem. Let me give you an example. Let's say you need some sort of element or control that will display a lot of information in a very tight vertical space. Well, the most common solution to this is a tab control. This will allow you to have multiple tabs that take up horizontal space, but very little vertical space. So a tab control is a web design pattern. Even the name pattern suggests something that's being used um, often. You can also refer to it as a design element. Or let me give you another example. What if you need uh, some sort of element that stands out and does something when you click it, like take you to another page? Well, the button like this one, subscribe or pricing. This is also a web design pattern. It's a solution to the problem or to the question that I raised earlier. And the list goes on and on. Basically, what you end up with is a collection of elements that appear multiple times in a web project. That's what a pattern library is all about. It doesn't refer to those patterns uh, that you see in web design uh, that, um, you know, repeat themselves and create like a background and such. That's not what this course is about. In here, we're talking about uh, repetitive patterns that can be used to create pages or websites. Now, when you take these elements uh, I'm, I'm talking about, uh, create a collection and then build a project with them, you have several advantages. First of all, that project will be consistent. If you build it, then come back one year later and want to add a few more pages or make a few changes by using the elements in your pattern library, you make sure everything you change will look consistent. And that brings me to another advantage. Your project will be easier to maintain. When you're building your library, you can write instructions for future developers or even for yourself. So when you come back later, you know what you're doing. Plus, by updating your library, you can easily update any projects later on. And also remember, these are reusable components, so you can use them in a variety of projects with some minor tweaks on every occasion, of course. So, for example, you can create your own starting pattern library and then develop that for each individual project like create a default skin for some buttons and then depending on the project you can add colors you can add rounded corners and so on now i'm going to show you two examples of uh, pattern libraries so you can get a better idea of what they are and how you can create one the first one is from mailchimp now mailchimp created this uh, library in which they document the grid system that they're using so notice how cool their presentation is. Uh, the typography, the different elements, uh, the size of the headings. They even have code snippets, paragraphs, less variables, and all that stuff. Then form elements, you have the buttons, and then uh, the inputs later on, drop downs. Right. So every element, every web design element they used in their uh, websites, they put it here and they document it. That's basically what a pattern library should be all about. Also, the tables, you can see the different table types here or for feedback. You can see some message boxes. Uh, you can see some containers like this. So imagine you're a developer coming on MailChimp, uh, working with them to develop new pages or new projects. Well, just by taking a look at this, uh, at this pattern library, you can see already how you can use it because you have the code. You can see a small description of it so you know where to use it. And everything is put in this nice presentation 
that makes your job much, much easier. Another example is this one by Starbucks. And on the main page, you have like a big list of everything they have in their library. And clicking the links will get you to another page which shows details about that section as well as code snippets. Right, let's see about the blocks. Uh, here they document the different blocks they use in their website and so on and so forth. I think you, uh, you get the idea. So that's what a pattern library is all about. If, uh, if you're a serious developer, then you should really consider using a pattern library. And this course will actually show you how to do that. You're going to learn how to create a couple of elements and how to create a presentation page. And hopefully by the end of it, you'll be able to take that and apply it to your own project. Now, next time on building your own pattern library for the web, you'll learn about planning your library. That's an essential step, so make sure you don't miss it.